edition of Nile Cruise brought to you from Nile TV International. My name is Sharif Tuni. I'm joined today with Salman Zayed. Hello, Salman. Hello. Hi, Sharif. How are you? How, how are you are doing? You? Great. I'm fine, thank you. And we hope you enjoy today's edition of Nile Cruise on Nile TV. We have a lot of different segments. And uh, what do we start off with? Yes, um, uh, we're, we're going to have a look at uh, the economical aspects. Exactly, uh, with our uh, dear uh, guest uh, professor, Dr. Hela Saeed. She's the dean of the Faculty of Economics and Political Science, Cairo University. So that's going to be a lot of in-depth analysis yep. about the, maybe Absolutely. the Suez Canal is one yes. of the topics, but also on a number of economical uh, aspects within uh, Egypt and how uh, it is developing today. Uh, and we'll we also, also have look uh, culture. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Culture, Culture and uh, traditions in Egypt as well. That's going to be one of our uh, really important segments in today's show. And as usual, we'll be having something related to tourism at the end. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we just want to remind our dear viewers of our new segment on Nile Cruise on Nile TV. We have, it's called the Cruise Quiz. Uh, we've been talking about it the past three, four episodes. And it's, of course, you will see our dear Nile TV reporters all over um, Egypt. They're going to be asking our different, I mean, if they meet anywhere in any touristic attraction, um, our um, foreigners asking them historical questions. And whoever answers gets a, a lovely papyrus sheet of the program, Nile Cruise on Nile TV. Quite interesting. So search for them, or yes. probably they'll be finding you on the streets asking yep. the questions uh, from the team of uh, Nile Cruise. Yep, let's, let's go and actually that, yeah. see them. Yep. Welcome to Cruise Quiz. In this segment, we visit the most popular sites in Egypt and we ask its visitors information and questions about it. So let's see whether the visitors will know about this area or not. Today we're coming to you from the citadel of Saladin. if he's buried here or not? Uh, I don't understand that. <laughs> Turkish people? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Do you know who's buried inside the mosque? Oh, Mohammed Ali. Perfect, that's correct. inside the mosque of Muhammad Ali. The mosque is unique, it's beautiful. The ceiling of it is one of the most beautiful masterpieces uh, of other mosques. And also it's unique because it has two pulpits or two uh, minbars. One was uh, constructed during the rule of Muhammad Ali and the other was added by King Farouk. Behind me, this is uh, the mausoleum of Muhammad Ali because once the mosque was finished, the body of Muhammad Ali was moved to here and right now, this is the tomb as well as the mosque of Muhammad Ali. the clock behind us uh, it was a gift to Egypt do you know who gave it to Egypt Turkish people no, no. do you know about this clock uh, there is a clock in uh, the mosque of Muhammad Ali do you know who gave it to Egypt uh, maybe uh, they came from France uh, right correct it was a present uh, yeah, it's <laughs> that's correct Emperor Louis P Philippe of France give it uh, as a present correct friends yeah, <laughs> A unique feature 
feature in the mosque of Muhammad Ali is the presence of a clock in it. Actually, that clock was a gift from Emperor Louis Philippe of France to Muhammad Ali in exchange to the obelisk, which is now present in Place de la Concorde in France. Today we have visited part of the area of the citadel of Saladin and we have heard the answers of some of the visitors of the area and we've learned more about it. And by this we come to this segment of Crusades. Until next week with a new place, it's goodbye. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruise, and uh, now we're moving to the first story of the day, and uh, it is about uh, the Egyptian uh, poet Abdurrahman al Abnudi, who left us at the age of 77 and who channeled uh, uh, cultural and rural life. We're moving now to the story all about uh, his life and about the late Egyptian poet Abdurrahman al Abnudi. <laughs> With an effort to enhance the scientific research in Egypt, International Fame Lab competition was held. Minister of Scientific Research, Dr. Sharif Hamed, Minister of Antiquities, Dr. Mamdouh al damoti and many senior officials, as well as a number of media figures, attended the event. The main aim of the event is to encourage the talented to do more inventions. This event expressed the main interest of uh, the Ministry of Scientific Research in Egypt to invent in the youth minds, to encourage the youth inventors, uh, Egyptian inventors, uh, to uh, evolve their uh, ideas into products, into uh, worldwide level, uh, because we know that uh, more than uh, 600 uh, in inventors, young inventors participated in this competition today, but now we are uh, seeing just the last 10 uh, finalists, uh, and the first of them will be uh, promoted to travel uh, to UK to participate in the worldwide competition. So uh, this is a, a unique uh, 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 activity that we are going, and uh, we are very interesting to uh, to go on uh, such kind of encouraging the youth people to go forward uh, and to uh, to invent more. With Newton Mosharafa, with Fame Lab, and with all of our joint education... 200 teams, students took years, part in the event. Many scientific performances were displayed. The winner will take part in the international round that will be held in England. ...provides a golden opportunity for Egyptian scientists. Well, this, this year, the, the UK and Egypt have just launched a new five-year program, which is the Newton Mosharafa Fund, and this is a 200 million Egyptian pound collaboration over a five-year period in key areas of scientific importance, both for the UK and also for Egypt. Um, and I'm absolutely delighted that the British Council, in partnership with the embassy, is implementing this program, and we're working very closely with the Ministry of Scientific Research. Um, one of the big things that we've done this year, we will send in the autumn 63 PhD candidates to the UK just to start their studies. But we're also running programs in research collaboration for young researchers, um, helping young researchers improve their English language capability because we know that much of the time research collaboration is done in English. And, so th and this is a core area of competence for the British Council. And we're working in those areas which are important to Egypt, so sustainable food production, better water management, um, alternative energy supply, and so on, um, inclusive healthcare, and also archaeology with its links to sustainable heritage management. And to, to science. For instance, uh, at the flick of a switch, we have a light and electricity. Holding such events will indeed enhance the collaboration between Egypt and the EU. Uh, the present and creates ways to improve our future. It is a very important uh, uh, time to have uh, uh, this event in 
one of the most important places in Cairo, the uh, Baron Palace, who established the area of uh, Heliopolis. And now you can see Heliopolis, one of the wonderful places in Egypt. It means it is a good place to uh, present some uh, events like this. And this event helps the new generation to get what they have to do, or what they, they to, to present for us what they have to present for Egypt in the new technology and uh, new science. And uh, I uh, did one of, the one of the important steps to improve the uh, science in Egypt. International Fame Lab aims at enhancing the scientific communication among different generations. This in return will lead to a better and flourishing future for Egypt. Basmataha, Nai TV International. Sure.